Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue semicircle uh, with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of uh, this uh, semicircle is uh, 338 uh, pi centimeter square. And moreover, this code uh, AB is uh, 48 uh, centimeter long. And this uh, diameter CD is uh, parallel to this code uh, AB. And the distance uh, between uh, this code and the diameter is represented by x. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this uh, distance x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and calculate the radius uh, of uh, this uh, semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square, where r is the radius. And in our case, uh, our area of the semicircle has been given to us uh, as uh, 338 pi. So therefore, for the semicircle area, I'm going to divide this whole circle area divided by 2. So therefore, for a semicircle, area is going to be pi r square divided by 2 equals to the area has been given to us as 338 pi. And now we can see this pi and pi cancels out. So we are ended up with the r squared divided by 2 equals to 338. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 2 to remove this fraction. This is gone. So r squared turns out to be 676. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root. So therefore, our radius uh, r turns out to be 26 uh, centimeter. So thus the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle turns out to be 26 uh, centimeter. And now let me show you the very first uh, method. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped a perpendicular from this uh, center O, as you can see over here. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the radius bisects the chord. So that means this perpendicular bisects this chord AB into two equal parts, AE equals to EB. And we know the length of this chord AB is 48. So if we divide into half, this segment is going to be 24 and this segment is uh, 24 uh, centimeter as well. And here in this next step, uh, I have uh, connected this uh, center O with this uh, point uh, A. And we can see that this uh, AO is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. And we know the radius is uh, 26. So therefore, this uh, radius uh, AO is going to be 26 uh, centimeter as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, AEO, whose uh, side lengths uh, are uh, 24, 26, uh, and this uh, side length uh, is uh, x. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for uh, x. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg uh, as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is uh, x square plus uh, b is uh, 24 whole square equal to c is uh, 26 whole square. Let's simplify. So that is going to become uh, x square plus uh, 576 uh, equal to 600. 76. Let's go ahead and subtract 576 uh, from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, uh, x squared turns out to be 100. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking uh, the square root. 
so therefore our uh, x value turns out to be 10 centimeter so thus our this uh, distance x turns out to be 10 centimeter and now let me share with you the second uh, method and in this uh, second method i have drawn the whole uh, circle and still uh, our center for this whole circle is o and the radius is uh, 26 and now i have dropped uh, this perpendicular uh, pq that passes uh, through this uh, center o and now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem once again and uh, according to this theorem uh, this uh, radius uh, bisects uh, this uh, chord a b into two equal parts so that means this uh, segment is equal to this segment if whole uh, length is 48 so therefore this segment is going to be 24 and this segment is uh, 24 centimeter as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, p o is the radius uh, of this uh, circle so the radius uh, that has been given to us uh, as uh, 26 so the radius uh, p o is uh, 26 and this uh, another radius uh, o q is uh, 26 centimeter as well and now let's recall the intersecting uh, chords theorem according to this theorem if two chords intersect in a circle then the product of the measures of the segments of the chords are equal as you can see in this uh, diagram where uh, these uh, two chords uh, intersect each others and we are ended up with this segment a b c and d such that uh, a times b equal to c times d and now in our case let's focus on this uh, segment uh, p e that is going to be 26 uh, plus x that is going to become uh, 26 uh, plus uh, x and this segment uh, e q is uh, going to be 26 uh, minus x so i can write uh, 26 uh, minus uh, x so therefore in our case we got these uh, two chords uh, a b and uh, p q that intersect uh, each other such that uh, we have uh, this uh, segment i'm going to call a this segment uh, is b i'm going to call this uh, whole segment as c and this segment uh, as lowercase d so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got uh, 24 times uh, 24 equal to c in our case is 26 plus x times 26 minus x and on the left hand side 24 times 24 is 576 equals to and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b times a minus b could be written as a square minus b square we are going to apply it uh, on the right hand side so therefore 26 square is same as 676 minus uh, x square let me go ahead and move this uh, x square on the left hand side and the very same time i'm going to move this uh, 576 on the right hand side as well so therefore we are ended up with the uh, x square equal to 676 minus 576 so that means x square equals to 100 let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both sides so therefore x turns out to be 10 centimeter so thus our x value turns out to be 10 centimeter thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye